Oh, I'm excited to share an idea today with you. I watched a really good video by a great guy, Ryan. Thank you so much, Ryan, for that amazing video. I want to put the link below. You have to check it out after this because he goes deeper into a lot of the stuff. Really, really great video. Thank you so much. Um, I want to share a couple of ideas and then you have to listen to the last part because I think that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Um, he shared the idea that I really liked of actually not finding your life purpose but rediscovering your life purpose. And you'll see why at the end but he shares the idea that maybe we've all kind of had a taste of what our, our life purpose is. Well, that's how I, I interpreted that. That we've had a taste of what a life purpose is or what it feels like. Um, and you, you, you'll see why. But then he shared a really cool idea too about when people tell us like, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? I don't know about you, but me, when I hear that, I get scared. Like I feel fear, I feel anxiety like for the rest of my life. Like I have to pick something that I want to do for the rest of my freaking life. Like that's a tough decision, that's a lot of pressure. I don't want to feel all that pressure. And I think because of how it used to be in past generations, I mean that's how it used to be, right? And because of that we think it has to be that way. But he called, he, he shared a term that I think it's, we're seeing more and more of that nowadays. That we're becoming what he called cycle breakers, right? That maybe you don't want to kind of like live the same way that your past generations, the people in your family did, uh, and no offense to anyone who's an older adult that was part of that generation that you had the same job for, the, for your entire life. And there's a lot of beauty in that. There's a lot of really good things in that, but we're at a different time. We're at a much, much different world right now. So I like that idea of cycle breakers, right? And not thinking that, which to me was huge, I like that idea, but also the huge part was kind of like letting go of that pressure of thinking that you have to do something for the rest of your freaking life. I think to me that added a lot of pressure in my life. So I hope those help. And then the analogy that he shared, in my opinion, is brilliant like and beautiful. Like think of a sports team, right? I'll use, I don't know, a soccer team, right? Or it can be your favorite sport. If they bring in a new player, right? And you're the new player. Everyone in the team already has a purpose, right? They have the, 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 their position, their role. They all have their purpose. So you coming in, right? You might feel like, you don't have that purpose right now, right? You're just coming in. So you feel like there's a lack of contribution, right? That you're not contributing to the team. So he shares that idea of like, what if purpose, what if it's about contribution, right? And he talks about if you're that player, there's a truck going by, I'll give it a second so that uh, I'm not gonna edit that out, I don't care. Uh, if you're that player, right, you, you, you want to make the team better. You want to bring something new to the team. So that's the idea that I love. When he said, I think he said it or, or I thought about it, like bringing something new, right? If you think about actually a professional sports team, they always bring someone new who they know can add something to the team that the team doesn't already have right so I don't know what if I, I just thought of it right now as I was sharing that like what if you can think of the world right if we go into a more spiritual explanation like what if you are brought into the world as a new player because you have something in you that's new to bring to this freaking beautiful planet right that could also be part of your purpose. Like I talked about it in another one of my videos about purpose, like bringing something new that maybe you're a pioneer, that you're bringing something that doesn't really exist, hasn't been thought of in that way, and you bring that, right? But 
if you think about the idea, okay, you want to make the team better, so you want to make the planet better. That's what we all, everyone talks about, oh, I just want to change the world, right? We want to have an impact on the world. That's a huge part of the purpose, I think. And I like what he shared about contribution. So that's why he said rediscovering our purpose. Because we've all, at some point in our lives, contributed, right? We've helped in huge things, tiny things, it doesn't matter. But what if that's a huge part of purpose, right? What if purpose, and that's, this is a tough question too, but what if purpose doesn't always need to be about career, right? Think about that. Think about that. What if now that we have that idea of contribution that Ryan shared on his video, what if purpose is more about contribution, right? And I can help anyone. I can help the lady that lives out here can help the neighbors out here, right? Can help the people at the gym when I work out. Can help the people at the supermarket, right? Any store that I go to, out on the street when I'm out walking and doing whatever, right? I don't know, I think purpose, like we, we, we put purpose in a box, like purpose is my career, that's it, that's my purpose. What if it's way bigger than that, way broader, like what if it includes way more than just your career, right? What if it's not just when you're actually doing your job? What if purpose is a way of life, right? You want to bring more love to the world? Then spread it out. You want to, like, when you think about be the change you wish to see in the world, right? That's one of my favorite quotes. What if you bring that? Right? You want to see more gratitude in the world, then be more grateful for everything around you. And I don't know, I think there's, there's so much that we could talk about, but I think I'm going to leave it there because I love that idea. I really, really like that idea of, okay, I'm, I'm the new player that this team brought, right? I was brought to this team because I have something. I don't know what it is yet, right? Maybe you don't know what it is yet. But you know you have something, you know, if you're really, really honest with yourself, you know you have something that no one else has. You know you're special, you know you're unique, right? There's never been another you before. There is no other you right now and there will never be another you. And I think that's beautiful. Because if we don't appreciate ourselves, right? You need to believe in you for others to believe in you. You need to... You need to really, really, really find that deep belief in yourself, which is not easy. It's definitely not easy. But you need that level of appreciation to be able to express your purpose. So, I don't know, now I'm going in all different directions. I'm going to start rambling and going all over the place, so I think I'll stop there. Um, Please watch his video. He goes deeper into some areas that I didn't go into. Really, really cool video. Uh, so thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for watching. I really hope this was helpful. Uh, that analogy to me is amazing. So I just wanted to share it with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's any other things that you want me to talk about. And yeah, really appreciate you watching the video. So have an amazing day. See you in the next one.